Hey guys, in this video, uh, I want to make my first ever custom ROM review for the Google Nexus 9. And this is a very special ROM for this tablet, uh, which is called as the Candy 5 ROM. This comes with the Android 5.0.2 Lollipop version, so that, that is a little bit um, upgrade, you can say, or the 5.0.1 stock. Uh, we do have a good kernel available for this Nexus 9 that I will be making a review about pretty soon. So, uh, yes, let's quickly dig into this uh, custom ROM. Now, you can see I do install the G apps, but there are a few apps, so this is just one app drawer we have. Uh, we have all the apps, uh, Google Apps, and all that good stuff uh, installed. And then uh, also, if we go back, you can scroll like this. You can see the effect here. This is accordion effect. You can hold down the screen and then if you swipe above you can change uh, the home screen settings you can also change some drawer settings and app settings large icons if you want to see large icons then you can turn it on so we do have this cool home screen uh, options here you can have it like rotate up you can change the uh, uh, the effect there which is extremely great so let's see here you can see now they are rotating above so that's how it works and also you can have it on uh, the app drawer like the same way a lot of different uh, types of effect there but anyways if we go here to the notification area you can see this is the default um, or lollipop notification area you can see that we have the rotation lock option which is pretty great you can see that uh, that's awesome and uh, some basic uh, settings here. A good thing is that we have the dedicated flash option and that works pretty fine. Then if we go here into the settings uh, you'll notice that settings is basically the same um, as the stock one. You see nothing is new um, but if we go here into the about tablet you can see Candy 5 Flounder which is the name of the Nexus 9 and uh, Candy 5 Lollipop ROM version official and uh, this is the kernel CM12 default kernel and uh, so if I go here in the settings if you look closely in the settings you will find a option which is of course a ROM specific option so that will catch your eye which is in personalization called as Candy interface now in Candy interface you will have these cool options animation you can set up some custom buttons you can also set up some gestures uh, which is uh, extremely great. Um, then you also have the lock screen shortcuts, we have the navigation bar options, recent panel, and status bar. Now let's check out the options one by one. If we check out the animation option, uh, let's see if uh, the double tap on the nav bar uh, sleeps the device or not. Let's check this out. Okay, so you can see that that works fine. And let's double tap on the screen to wake it up. Let's see if that works or not. Uh, you can see that also works, so that is great. And if I lock the device, if we see the lock screen more detailed, you can see that we can unlock the device, and also you can go here in the camera quickly. So I haven't seen any kind of crashes or whatsoever. Front camera works fine, video recording work, works fine, everything works fine. So this is a default uh, Google camera. Um, there's nothing that much special about it. So, but good thing is that it's working very fine and then also we do have a uh, working Wi-Fi connection of course browser and all that so let's get to that point here animations we were here so animation wise you can see uh, we have the list view animation uh, you can change the list view animations from wave left to alpha ton of animations there you can also have the system animations activity open animation activity close an animation you can set it up to like slide in right at task open animation slide fade so uh, you can have ton of animations you can also set up the duration you can make your Nexus 9 extremely fast if you set the time to very less so that is extremely great now you can see the effect there that is something that you can mm, use to make your Nexus 9 more awesome so that is the animations options there and if you go here into the buttons, 
uh, we have the backlit option, we have the wake up device uh, to press the home button to wake up to wake the device. Um, then also we have the menu button option. Some really great stuff here, set up custom stuff. Gesture anywhere, you can have gestures, set up any gestures to, um, to launch a specific app if you are interested in that. Then also we do have the uh, navigation bar option. If I go here, navigation bar option, left handed mode. Uh, place the navigation bar on the left side of the screen in the landscape mode, of course. You can enable that in the landscape mode. Let's check it out. Um, okay. So this works fine. I'm not sure if it's working, but, uh, but anyways, I have no problem uh, using this option. It works. But uh, if we go here into the recent panels, of course, if we click here into the multitasking, app button you can see you can quickly close everything up uh, using this button now this button is located on the top right corner now we also do have the Google now okay Google okay Google so it's not yet uh, recognizing but anyways it does recognize so you can see that we have the clear all recent location you can change it to the top left so let's see now we have it on the top left so uh, that's the good stuff there um, status bar uh, you can uh, have the battery percentage inside the icon. Now you can see the battery percentage, which is really great. Then also, you can uh, show uh, you can change the battery status style like circle. Now it's a bit more better. Uh, brightness control, clock and date, lock screen, carry the label. This is good. Network traffic, super user indicator. Um, of course, show weather. Uh, if you turn it on, it will show the weather information in the status bar. Um, anyways, of course, I don't have the uh, weather enabled or you can say Wi-Fi enabled at the moment, but uh, we also do have the notification ticker option. You can turn it on. So now you can see that I've enabled that animation in the list view. You can see if I go here, you can see how this comes. So this is the good side of the animation. A really awesome ROM in terms of animation, but we don't have the CM12 team engine here, which I really, really want to have on my Nexus 9. And more option, of course, we have the stock uh, Google option. So basically, it is based on the stock, of course. Uh, most uh, stuff is stock. So really awesome ROM, my first ROM review for the Nexus 9. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. If you want, to, if you want me to make some uh, specific video for you guys. Uh, to uh, run some games on it or whatever you want to watch just do let me know in the comment section down below so uh, this is a candy 5 ROM uh, so I, if I talk about its installation all that it is very easy download the ROM from the link in the description and copy it into the internal um, memory of your Nexus 9 or you can download it directly on your Nexus 9 just boot into the recovery if you don't know how to root if you don't know how to install a custom recovery if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader I've done a single video that you can find in this playlist that you are watching right now the, that that is the first video of this playlist Nexus 9 custom and in that video I've showed you how to root how to unlock the bootloader how to install the custom recovery so that is a pretty easy video uh, so, uh, install the ROM, copy into the internal memory, boot them into your recovery, TWRP, and just do a wipe data factory reset, then install the ROM, and then just reboot. If you have any problem, do let me know in the comment section down below, and I will see you next one.